Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It's March 3rd, 2023, and Javier Tebas has threatened that Barcelona will not be able to sign any players come the summer transfer market. Also, Benjamin Pavard seems to want to stay at Bayern Munich. And finally, looks like Cavara will be staying at the Serie A club, Napoli. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Mo, welcome to the channel. As I mentioned before, I am currently traveling. I'm in the city of Barcelona to watch the Barcelona versus Valencia match on Sunday. So as such, I'm away from my computer and my equipment. So I'm bringing you this live video, that's an, this unedited live video with the most up-to-date news about Barcelona. So excuse any mistakes and any lack of editing. Uh, also, I did see some messages from you guys yesterday saying that why wasn't I responding to the chat? The thing is, I've only brought my camera and a small iPad that I'm currently using to make these videos. So when I have the live video on the iPad, I can't really see the comment section. It's very small, so I can't read it. So I do apologize if I didn't respond to anyone. I wasn't ignoring you. I simply cannot see it when the video is live. I do see it afterwards, so please don't be shy. Leave a comment down below, and I will definitely respond. As always, I love to hear from all you guys. I love to hear your opinions, and I love to hear your thoughts. So drop a comment down below. Now we start with the biggest news is that Javier Tebas, La Liga's president, has said that Barcelona will not be able to sign any players in the summer. He said that Barcelona weren't able to sign anyone in the winter transfer market because he didn't allow Barcelona to do so and that the club would not be able to sign anyone in the summer unless things change, of course. Now, we've talked about, the, about this before. Barcelona will have to reduce their wage bill by 200 million euros, which is, of course, a huge task. The club are going to have to offload a lot of players and they're probably going to have to negotiate some of the contracts of the current players to reduce that wage bill by 200 million euros, which would allow them to continue to sign players. But of course, that's going to be a huge task. But I have no doubt that Matteo Alemani and John Laporta and the entire board of directors will be able to handle this task. We've already seen the wonderful job that they're currently doing. But nonetheless, Javier Tebas seems to be obsessed with Barcelona and seems to be wanting to bring in the club every time he's in front of the microphone, which is already getting very old and i'm really getting sick and tired of this i do understand that la liga have some regulations that of course barcelona have to follow and if the club are over the wage limit then yes they should be forced to reduce their wage limit because the rules were set up for a reason but what i don't understand is why javier tebas is always so obsessed with barcelona and constantly talking about barcelona every time he's in front of a camera or in front of a microphone I think he really forgets that he is the president of La Liga and he's in charge of all the clubs in La Liga, not just Barcelona. But every time he speaks, to, uh, he talks about uh, on front of a mic, it seems like he's only the president of Barcelona because that seems to be the only topic on his head, which honestly is getting very old and very tired. And I personally can't wait until his term is over at the end of this year and hopefully we'll have someone to challenge him because I'm sick and tired of this clown being the president of La Liga, because not only is he hurting Barcelona, but he's hurting the entire Spanish league as a whole with his incompetence and his total ineptness as a president, where instead of focusing on improving the Spanish league, all he can do is focus on trying to bring down Barcelona, which is absolutely stupid because Barcelona is one of the biggest clubs in La Liga and one of the biggest grossing clubs in La Liga. And if it wasn't for Barcelona, honestly, La Liga wouldn't be where it, where, where it is right now. So I don't understand what's Javier Tebas' obsession with Barcelona. And I really hope that his term comes to an end because we need a better president who can look out for the interests of all the clubs in La Liga, not just Real Madrid, and a president who wants to improve the Spanish league as a whole and on the worldwide stage rather than spending every minute of day focusing on Barcelona. Now, in other news, it looks like Benjamin Pavard will be staying at Bayern Munich, given the latest statements that he made, where he said that he's very happy at the Bundesliga club, and where he says that he expects that his role to change in the future, which that already sounds as a contract renewal. Now, we've talked about Benjamin Pavard many times in the uh, previous videos. His contract is set to expire with Bayern Munich in the summer of 2024. 
and he was looking to leave the Bundesliga club this upcoming summer 2023 with his favorite destination being in Barcelona. But after his agent, Pini Savi, met with the club, all of a sudden, Benjamin Pavard start, instructed his agent to start negotiating a contract with Noel with Bayern Munich, which all I can think is that most likely Barcelona told Benjamin Pavard that they're not going to be signing him this summer, that he wasn't a main objective, because that's the only reason why I can see Benjamin Pavard would change his complete stance of wanting to leave Bayern Munich to one and staying at the Bundesliga club. Now, Barcelona did consider Benjamin Pavard as an option for the right back position, but uh, but it was never a main uh, objective of Barcelona. Of course, Xavi's number one option is Juan Foyt from Villarreal, and there's also the option of Arnau Martinez from Girona. So I really do think that after that meeting is that Barcelona told Pavard they're not gonna, that he's not gonna be a main objective for the club, and that's why he has changed his mind and decided to stay at Bayern Munich. Now, in other news, I spoke about la uh, yeah, last night in the video about Barcelona wanting to meet with Alberto Molero's agent to try to uh, see if they can reach uh, a plan to sign him. Of course, Alberto Molero is a 19-year-old midfielder who currently plays for the second division team, Las Palmas, and he's a very similar profile as Pedri, and he's actually been dubbed as the next Pedri. And Barcelona are now on the hunt for a Pedri replacement because they've seen how much the team um, how much the team suffers when Pedri is injured. So Barcelona were hoping to meet with Alberto Molito's agent to try to reach a plan where they can sign him. But it seems that uh, Las Palas president is trying to put some pressure on the club because he's now saying that Alberto Molero is in advanced talks with other clubs from the Liga and other clubs from the Premier League because it seems that there's a lot of interest in the player to sign him. But I really think this is just a tactic to try to push his price up because Alberto Molero has said on several occasions that he wants to join Barcelona. But And the president of Las Palmas has said that he wants Alberto Molero to be at Barcelona. But now all of a sudden he's talking about Alberto Molero joining other clubs. And I really think this is just a tactic try to his push his price up because Las Palmas want 30 million euros for the player. But nonetheless, Barcelona want to try to negotiate that price down. And I really, really don't think that this tactic is going to work because the player wants to join Barcelona. So even if they could be a hundred, even a thousand clubs interested in him, but if he, he wants to go to Barcelona, then Las Palmas are going to be forced to negotiate with Bar Barcelona. So hopefully the club can negotiate a better price and they can sign him because we, we really do need a replacement for Pedri because we've seen how much the team suffers whenever Pedri is injured. Uh, now, in other news, the club have officially announced a contract renewal of Sergio Roberto, where he has extended his contract by one more year until 2024. There is an option to extend it by one more season, but the player would have to meet certain uh, variables, which are very difficult to meet. So it's most likely just going to be a one-year uh, contract. And this is, of course, was done by Shabby's request. And this was negotiated a few weeks ago, which I reported about. And the club were hoping to announce this contract renewal officially after uh, um, the match against Almeria. This is Barcelona lost. The board decided not to announce the contract renewal because they know this is a controversial contract renewal. And it seems that they have chosen today to announce since it's Barcelona did win against Real Madrid. So the board probably thought this was a good time that the fans are now happy to announce this contract renewal. I personally don't understand why Sergio Roberto wasn't renewed. I don't think he really provides anything on the field for the team. Yes, he is a very hardworking player. He has a lot of experience. He's a leader in the locker room. He's not earning that much. But again, on the field, he doesn't really provide much for the team. So I don't understand why the club renewed him. But again, this was Xavi's request. And Xavi does know more than all of us. So we have to trust in our coach's decision. Now we will end today's uh, video with the news that seems that Kavara will be staying at Napoli. And I bring this up because I've heard a lot from you in the comment section talking about how Barcelona should consider signing Kavara. Of course, Kavara is the 22-year-old winger who currently plays for Napoli. and He's been doing absolutely a wonderful job in the Serie A. He has scored uh, 10 goals and provided 11 assists so far, which are incredible numbers. And his agent has finally come out and talked about Kavara's possibility of leaving Napoli. And he has said that uh, Kavara's father and the agent are both Barcelona fans, but the player himself is a Real Madrid fan. 
and that he, they can see the player uh, playing for either club in the future. But for now, they see Kavara staying at Napoli since he does have a contract until 2026. So in other words, what the Asian is saying is that for now, Kavara is staying at Napoli, but in the future, he could go either the Barcelona route since his father and his Asian are Barcelona fans, or he can go the Madrid route because the player is a Madrid fan. So in other words, it's nothing but BS. It's just the Asian trying to stir up the pot, trying to increase the price of the player, saying that for now he's staying at Napoli, but in the future he can go either way. So pretty much he's trying to set up more of a, of a battle between both Barcelona and Madrid to see who will offer more. And in other words, he's saying the player could go either club, but whoever offers more, that we're, that's where Kavar is going to go. And I'm already saying that whenever you have a player who is just playing the field, trying to see which club play, uh, pays more, that I really would rather that player play anywhere else but Barcelona because we don't need those kind of players at the club. We need players who want to come to Barcelona, whose dream is to come to Barcelona, who are willing to play hard, train hard, and fight for the crest, not someone who's just looking which club is going to pay him more. We don't need those kind of players. So for in my opinion, Kvara could go to Real Madrid or any other club. I don't really want to see him at Barcelona if that's his attitude right now. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I'd like to hear from all of you. So drop a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. It only takes a second. And in doing so, you would be helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, peace, Galarza.